Okay, another question we get asked a lot and we see a lot in forums and things is paralleling lithium batteries. So there's two types of lithium batteries. There's uh, batteries with, with an external BMS, so an external battery management system, and batteries with an internal BMS. Both have their place in the market and both are really good at what they do, but they are different. So let's, in the beginning, let's just talk about a BMS and what it is. In most situations, it is monitoring internal cell voltages of the lithium batteries, and it is a switch. It is turning off the battery if the battery gets too low to ensure that the lithium doesn't get damaged and over discharge. And it's also turning off the charging source or the ability to charge the battery if the, cell if the battery voltage gets too high. Most of the time on a RV lithium battery and a 12 volt lithium battery, a BMS is very simple. It is a switch that turns the battery on or off. Sometimes that's built into the battery and sometimes it's external to the battery. Specifically, this Victron battery here does not have an internal BMS. These cables allow you to parallel this battery together. The data cables get daisy changed and these go plug into an external BMS. So this battery does allow you to parallel it to get more capacity. A battery with an inbuilt BMS may not allow you to parallel the battery, it just means you buy one battery of bigger size if it has an internal BMS. This might allow a little bit of flexibility, but it does mean there's multiple batteries in that bank. You might be better off with one big lithium battery in that bank. Look at the design, see how it's going to fit, where that product's going to fit within the installation, and then that is what you would use to decide which setup you want to do. It's not right or wrong to have internal BMS or external BMS, but you need to be aware of it to ensure that your system is designed correctly so that it works correctly.